Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. I'm just heading out to my campsite. I'm going to do an overnighter. So why don't you come along? Well, the stakes that came with this tent are these little aluminum ones. And as you can imagine, they don't do anything in the snow. So I went to the dollar store and I bought these. These are made out of steel and they have a, a concave flange on the back side to grip more dirt or more snow. And they're a foot long, so like 30 centimeters long. I put a little bit of orange paracord there just so then I don't misplace them. But they were four for 250, so you know, if I do lose one, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I should tell you about my sleep system. Okay, tonight it's not going to get very cold at all. It's actually quite mild. Um, it's going to be just below freezing, and there's a possibility of some flurries overnight and into tomorrow. So uh, I really don't need that severe of cold weather sleeping system. But this is what I brought. So on the bottom, I've got this green blanket. It's not wool, it's a polyester blend or something, but anyway, it's uh, nice and fuzzy. And then on top of that, I've got this foam pad. It's, um, it's a yoga mat. It's my wife's yoga mat. She doesn't use it, so now it's camping gear. And on top of that, I've got this Tayton sleeping bag. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's T-E-T-O-N, and it's good to minus 18 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Fahrenheit. And it's not even going to get close to that tonight. So I'll just take it out and let it fluff up for a while. I don't know if I can ever get it out of this stuff sack. Maybe I should loosen the side straps. They are loosened. Okay. Pull her out. coming. There we go. See that's the brand right there. Anyway, it's a mum style. There's the hood. And it's kind of extra long, so it's actually going to touch both sides of the tent. Now I probably should have made the pit for the tent a little bit wider um, because the floor hasn't pulled out all the way to the corners. Um, but I got more shoveling to do for my fire pit, so uh, I'm going to save my energy for that. Now I got to go get some firewood. You know, there's a squirrel. Just noticed that I'm here. Sounding a bit of an alarm. Oh well, I'm not hunting today. It's got nothing to worry about. Now in order to make this evening more challenging, 
I didn't bring any stoves in order to cook my meals. So everything's going to be cooked over the fire. Okay, now I know I have a grill here. It's uh, buried under the snow next to the tent, right at the foot of this log, so I'll just have to dig that out. pretty good. Okay, so I couldn't dig that out. So what I'm going to have to do is just cook it bushcraft way. 
or right over the logs. Okay, so I'm going to get some water going. Mostly snow, but I'm going to pour a little bit of water in there just to keep the bottoms from scorching. So what I'm going to cook is some jumbo shrimp and some ramen noodles. And I'm going to make a cup of tea as well. Oh, that's starting to smell good. Put some green onions in there as well. And the shrimp aren't turning pink yet, so I mean it hasn't uh, started to boil, but it's going to be good. Good. Big shrimps in there. Some onion. It smells nice and shrimpy. Okay, so I'm going to eat this out here and then after I'm done I'm going to go into the tent and uh, get ready for bed because it's pretty dark. See you in a few. Well those shrimp and noodles are pretty good. Tea is starting to get cooler. So, uh, what I want to do is talk about a candle lantern. Now, uh, when you camp in the winter and you exhale um, in your tent, what happens is you get condensation on your walls. And uh, a way to combat that is to have a little flame, just a little candle burning in your tent. Now, this is a safe candle. Um, it is, let's take it out of this container here. It's a, a UCO candle lantern. Um, I'll just adjust the light here a little bit. Let's see, bring it this way. Okay. You're not going to be able to see the label on this very well. Um, oh, I know. I'll put the light behind the camera, pointing towards me. Let's see how that works. Okay, so this, there we go, a UCO candle lantern. And it has a really fat candle inside that burns for eight or nine hours. I think it's nine hours and uh, anyway it just opens up like that and there's a glass window in there so that the flame doesn't you know touch other things in your tent basically um, and you can hang it and it's a dripless candle and uh, so I'm just gonna light it now I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see me light it very well, but we'll see how we can do this. 
this. Something like that. Anyway, the, um, the glass slides down to expose the candle wick. I didn't bring any lighters, but I did find my match case in my pack, so... These are supposed to be the Strike Anywhere matches, but I've got the, um, I've got the cardboard in here from the box. Yeah, it's hard to get out. Maybe if I use my pinky. Nope. I can hear the snow machines. Skidoos. Here we go. Oops. Come on out of there, you. Okay, I'm gonna have to pour them out, I guess. There we go. I'll put all these matches back in. except the one that I'm going to use. Now, how am I going to do this so you can see it? It's sort of fogged up. It seems foggy. So I'll light the wick. And where shall I put this so that it doesn't... Hmm. I don't want to put it in my cup. Okay, I'm just going to hold it for a second. Okay, now I can put it on my pack. Alright, so the candle is there. Yeah, you can see it's quite foggy. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna bring the glass up. And then I can hang this from the center of my tent on the hook. There. Now I can see my breath when I breathe in the tent. So that's probably why the lens is all fogged up. So I'm disappointed about that. Because I can't really see what's going on. It's all fucked up. Well, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to change out of these clothes and get into my sleeping clothes. Um, these socks are damp, but I have some nice big fuzzy wool socks that I can put on. And I have some fuzzy pajama bottoms and um, polar fleece top. And I also have a knitted cap that I can wear. So I'm going to change and turn off the camera. And hopefully in a few minutes the lens will uh, not be so foggy. Um, and we can talk some more. Otherwise, um, I guess I'll be talking to you in the morning at breakfast. Well, time to get changed. 
Hey YouTubers. Well, the camera lens finally unfogged. Um, I can still see my breath in here. And the candle lantern, let me just uh, point you up there. The candle lantern is hanging and there's a good foot from the top to the tent. Now my hand up here feels comfortably warm, but not hot. So it's important that this hangs as low as it does. And uh, as you can see, it gives a, a nice light. Well, I've got another light here for the camera. Let me just turn that light off. There, so that's the light just from the candle. It's a little too dark to film by. That's why I have that secondary light here. But anyway, um, so I had my my meal and my finished my tea, and uh, I went out into the woods and did some business out there. And uh, then I came back in, got changed. Um, now I'm laying in my sleeping bag. Um, so I think, well, considering I didn't bring a deck of cards or anything to read or anything like that. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just lay back and uh, relax and get a good night's sleep. So, until the morning, this is Muskrat Jim. Have a good evening. Morning, YouTubers. Well, it got a little bit of snow last night, a little bit of rain. You can see on the tent, still some there on the door, even though I've come in and out of the door a couple of times. So anyway, I uh, tried to light a fire and uh, made some feather sticks, and even with matches, <laughs> the feather sticks were still too damp. So, there's my fire. Stopped smoking there a little while ago. Oh, I forgot to mention that candle. It burnt all night long. I woke up this morning at 6.30, and uh, it still had some time to go. I think it's out now, finally. But, uh, yeah, it lasted, must have been nine hours. It's kind of weird. I usually don't sleep with the light on, and uh, the candle was giving off a fair amount of light all night. So I had to pull my hat over my eyes just to, you know, try to get some peace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a drink of water. I um, packed a couple of granola bars so I can eat those. And uh, then I'm going to pack up my stuff and head on back. But it's still snowing a bit now. And, uh, yeah, it's still snowing. And, uh, anyway, so I'm going to sit here, enjoy my cold breakfast, <laughs> listen to the crows, and uh, just take in some of this nature. So till next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. <laughs>more muskrat survival videos be sure to like comment share and subscribe